I've been having a recurring dream recently that I'm I'm floating in space, um, that I'm weightless, and that uh, my body just sort of melts away. But I'm still there afterwards. Um, it's a very trippy dream. It's 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 beautiful, but it's very weird. Hello, cheers. I'm in a field, if you couldn't tell. Um, and I'm here today because I had an impulse to share something that I experienced recently, just in case it was of any help to anyone. Um, because it's so easy to get caught up in the movie that we play in our mind. And now, the main event. So, turn off your phones, finish your conversations, and get ready. It's about to begin. In my experience of, of my life, I find that uh, the past and future meet us as pictures projected on the screen of our minds. And it's like the most engaging film ever, you know, in 12D. And we get so engrossed in it and so attached to it that we forget that we're just the witness viewing these pictures. That your mind has created itself probably in order to convince yourself of something, to tell a certain story, either to remind yourself of who you are, or to put yourself in your place, or to justify yourself. The movie's not even a reliable frame of reference of who you are. You know, our, our minds are constantly changing, and our memories are horribly inaccurate anyway. They're constantly changing, and I've found for myself, and this would have saved me, you know, a lot of pain in the past, knowing this sooner, that when you sit back as an audience member, when you remember that degree of separation between yourself and what you're viewing, you remember that nothing can jump out of the screen and get to you. Just as you can't jump into the screen and change what's happened in the past or affect the future that hasn't even happened yet. You know, both ways, it's just your imagination. You know, a, a mirror doesn't reflect who you were a year ago or, or who you'll be in five years' time. It reflects who you are now, and why should you or anyone else treat you based off of those old images or those projected images. If you look in the mirror, you'll see your reflection is fresh, alive, and constantly moving. Unless you're standing very, very still or in front of the mirror of Erised. Because I'm the sort of person who always fights to stop things from ending. I like change, but I always find myself clinging on to things that really I probably shouldn't. What are you clinging on to? And what's worth clinging on to? The two questions I've been asking myself a lot recently. And you know, if you were floating weightlessly through space, what baggage would you decide to carry with you that would weigh you down? Or would you just let it all go? So, um, very random, I know, <laughs> but I, uh, I just had the impulse to share this. Um, so if there's anyone watching this who thinks they needed to hear it, then I hope that that's reached you. And, um, thanks for watching and sending loads of love. <laughs>